So I'm going to do a quick navigation today of Microsoft Designer. So you can see here we can create from new, we can use the edit with AI tools, or we can completely design from scratch, uh, which is what we're going to do in this demo. So you can see here there's quite a few templates that we can use to start our imaging from, so LinkedIn posts, Outlook banners, SharePoint banners, those kind of things. We can create Instagram posts, Facebook posts. We can also create invitations, postcards, folded cards, which is a great addition, something that I asked for uh, a lot in the feedback. And of course, we've also got paper-based stuff, right? Because sometimes we do want to create things on paper and print them out. So this is a really key thing that we can work on and do. So we're going to go straight into Designer and we're going to create a couple of images. So you can see here as it loads, we've got some standard templates that we can use. Uh, I'm not going to use any of the templates today. I'm going to create some images from new. So I'm going to go to my media and keeping on the train theme, I'm actually going to create a banner that promotes my son's new YouTube video that he's doing. So I'm going to go through here and just kind of pick some images. You can see here, I'm just dragging them onto the screen, which is which is really handy, really easy to do. I can position them as I want to. Once I've done that, I'm gonna pick a couple of others as well, so I can change the format here as well, so I make this a little bit more mystifying, a little bit darker. I'm gonna go through and, and collect uh, a couple of other images that I wanna to add to the page. This is one of the signaling deck that uh, my son managed to, uh, to, to get to control uh, and a few others as well. So I'll add some of these images. Now once I've done that and I've positioned them, then designer will always come up and suggest some different ideas. Uh, I don't really want to use any of those. I'm quite happy with what I've got. I'm going to add some text. So there's quite a few different text boxes and uh, text imagery that I can use. It's quite dynamic, so it kind of knows what I'm trying to achieve and it will suggest the most appropriate images. So I'm just going to grab some, uh, some simple text here and change the layout a little bit. There you go, quite happy with the way that looks. And now we're gonna get some other images as well. So I've actually got some that I'm gonna copy from the clipboard and paste those in as well. Also keeps a good history. So here's one that I've already got. I've just stuck that in as an image. I can move these things around, so quite easy to move around. I get the standard kind of center back. I can remove the background. I can crop the. I can change the opacity of the images. So it's really quite quite simple. It's not the most feature rich design canvas, but it does pretty much all the things that I need to do. Uh, so there we go, uh, another image I've just grabbed from the web here, just to put this on, we went to uh, Steam Railway at the weekend, we did some filming, uh, my son hopefully uh, is going to create one of these as, as a YouTube video very soon, so we'll be promoting this on social media. So lots of little controls, um, the other things that I can of course do here is create some background, so I'm going to add uh, a Steam effect in this example to, to add to the image. Again, I can resize it, I can center back, all the sort of things you'd expect, really. There we go, so that's, I'm quite happy with that. I mean, just to show you some of the editing capability, what I'm going to do here as well is I'm going to use some of the AI tools to remove some of the background. So I'm going to click on a couple of the people here and just clean the image up a little bit. So I'm going to select a couple of the people here. I and mean, I'm just going to erase them just to make the image a little bit clearer. I want to keep a few people in the picture to show that it is a, an actively working station. You can click on the erase object, takes a little while to do. And once it's finished doing its work, there we go. I can tick the box to say that I'm happy. And there we go. That's our very quickly image that's taken me less than four minutes with my explanation. So there we go. That's um, Microsoft Designer from a blank canvas.